And so they decided to have a party. With cake well, and ice cream? <laughs> Did they dress up? Yes. And singing and dancing. Who went to the party? Everybody. Everybody was invited to celebrate 100 years of peace in the kingdom. This was a kingdom filled with music and dancing, with no time left over for grumbling and fighting. Thanks to the good King Cole. Such forgetful. Yes, indeed. Simply splendid. Have you seen my uh, crown? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bow, pipe, fiddlers, and party, your highness. A party to celebrate well, there your... There you are. <laughs> I've been fiddling around again, huh? <laughs> Dear, don't you want to help with the party? You bet. <laughs> I'm going to take the fiddlers here to rehearse. Oh. These guys are terrific. All they need is a run-through. Or two. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Goodbye. Yes. Holly Suki! Yes, ma'am. Did anyone remember butter? Yes, ma'am. Good. Betty Butter bought some butter. Yes. But she said the butter's bitter. Oh? If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But I am so confused. I... But a bit of better butter, that would make my batter better. Uh... So she bought a bit of butter better than her bitter butter. And she put it in her batter, and the batter was not bitter. So it was better Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. Hey! Oh. Yes, quite. Thank you. I think. No! Oh! oh. Oh, I nearly forgot the cake! Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Make me a cake just as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark with KC. Put it in the oven for King Cole and me. For King Cole and me. For King Cole and me. Put it 
right in the oven for King Cole and me. <laughs> Patrick Cake, Patrick Cake, Baker's man. Bake me a cake just as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark with KC. Put it in the oven for King Cole and me. For King Cole and me. For King Cole and me. Put it in the oven for King Cole and me. My tea. I had it in my hand just a moment ago. Well, don't worry, dear. Oh. We've plenty of tea. Oh. Polly, oh. Suki! Yes, ma'am? The king would like some tea. Polly, put the kettle on. Polly, put the kettle on. Polly, put the kettle on. The king must have his tea. Sorry, Jester. Did I hurt you? Is my lip bleeding? No. Is it swollen? I don't think so. Does it hurt? No. Oh. But I have to be very careful. I'm in training. Oh. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Very good. <laughs> a peck of pickled pooper peppers. Oh. Are you sure it's not swollen? No, it looks just fine. Peter Pooper Piper. Michael Peepers Popper Pee. Piper Pee. Piper Peep. Drat! Oh, I'm ruined. Oh. Oh, what have we here? Oh, a bit of nothing, Your Majesty. Oh. Uh, a little experiment. Surely not fit for a king. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye, four and twenty blackbirds. Baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? <laughs> One suggestion. Anything, Your, your Majesty. Next time, hold the birds. <laughs> Mine in the pot nine days old <laughs> without any birds. Peace <laughs> 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 porridge for <laughs> in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in the pot nine days old. Old soul and a very old soul was he. He called for his pipe. 
and he called for his bone, and he called for his feathers. peaceful kingdom for lo, these hundred years. Three presents. Okay, okay. They must be announcing the party. We would have been on time, but we ran into a bit of trouble. What kind of trouble? Not again. Yep. Jack heard you went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Look who's going to the party! on the way to the party, but I knit the king some mittens from his wool. Oh, they're beautiful, Mary. What was that? Tiger? That was no tiger. That was a very small tiger. Oh, look. Come here, tiger. He was the sweetest one in the litter. That's why I'm giving him the king. What are you taking, Jack? My favorite thing in the world that I said I would never give up, ever. Your blanket? You're giving your blanket away? Oh, Jack, that's really special. There it goes again. We better be off. Wait a minute. Where's Blue?
so long? Jack and Jill, the hill, you know. Oh, yeah. Did you find someone to watch over your cows and sheep while you're gone? The farmer in the dell said that he'd keep an eye on them. You have to watch him every minute, you know. What are you taking to the king? Your horn? I want him to have it. But how will you call your sheep and cows in? I'll just call them. Here, sheep, come here, cows. That's what I do anyway. I don't even play the horn. Just makes me look important. <laughs> what special presents for old King Cole? A golden horn. And white wool mittens. In the pail, a tiny kitten. All wrapped up in my warm yellow blanket. We're off to a party for old King Cole. For old King Cole, that merry old soul. We're off to a party with presents galore. Hop, two, three, four. <laughs> that has made us famous from here to, uh, there. We'd love to see more, but we're a little late and we have to be going. How can you be late when it's still so early? Maybe London time is different. London? Did you say London? Yes, we're going to see King Cole. King Cole? <gasps> did you say King Cole? Yes, I did. He's having a party. <gasps> a party? Did you say? Yes, she, she said, said party. Well, you don't have to scream. I heard you the first time. Come on, let's go. Wait, old King Cole is my favorite king. Old King Cole is your only king. She's smart. I like that. I was testing you. Uh, you have the honor of carrying Tweedleduck's gift to the king. Is it heavy? We still have a long way to go. <laughs> heavy? <laughs> Why no? It's light as a... Balloon. No, 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 no. Light as a... I'm giving you just one more chance. Light as a... We don't know the answer, I'm sorry, but now we're late and we have to be going. But wait, wait, it's a feather, light as a feather. Don't you get it? Oh, never mind. Would you take a simply spectacular feather to the king's party for me? It won't be hard to carry. It's very light. I'd be glad to. <laughs> Dimitri! Oh, the feather! No! <sighs> That's the finest ever grown by man or duck. Thank you, Dweedle. I know he'll love it. 
Okay, you quackers, line them up. Let's hit it. Six little ducks. <laughs> one wants two. Fat one. Three wants hair one. Two one little duck with a feather on his back. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack. Hear ye, hear ye. It has come to my attention that there has been some shoving and pushing in the royal line which leads to the royal party. And that some people are dropping their litter in the royal street. Will the parties responsible please identify themselves by cheering loudly? That's right. I got tired of looking at everything straight. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon the crooked style. He bought the crooked cat, which caught the crooked mouse, and they all lived together in the crooked little house. <laughs> We're very happy to meet you, Crooked Man. I hope you can help us. We're a little late and we have to go straight to London. Oh, can't go straight to anywhere from here. Got to go crooked. <laughs> from Wimbledon to Wobbleton is 15 miles. From Wobbleton to Wimbledon is 15 miles. From Wimbledon to Wobbleton, from Wobbleton to Wimbledon, from Wimbledon to Wobbleton is... 15 miles. But we aren't going to wibble. Let me try it. Crooked. Seesaw, sacra down, which is the way to London town. One foot up and one foot down, this is the, the way, way to, to London, London town. town. He played knick-knack 
up in heaven with a knick knack paddywhack give it on the moon this old man came rolling home this old man he played eight he played knick knack on my gate with a knick knack paddywhack give it on the moon this old man came rolling home this old man he played nine he played knick knack on my spine with a knick knack paddywhack give it on the moon this old man came rolling home this old man You're going to a party, aren't you? <laughs> How'd you know? A crooked little bird told me. Why don't you come with us? Why, I can't. Why? Gotta tend to crooked land. Just look at this tree. It wants to go straight. Tree! <whistles> <sighs> Gotta watch it every minute. <laughs> oh, but I would be mighty grateful if you take my present to the king. Oh, he's got a tough job, too. Ah, I am just the thing for him. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> My very own crooked sixpence. <laughs> Only one of a kind. <laughs> We'd be proud to take it with us if we could figure out how to get there. Well, go to the edge of crooked land. But it's crooked. We can't get there that way. Oh, here, let me up. Watch. Just take me a second to straighten this out. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> well, have a good trip. Thank, Thank you, Cookie Man. Bye bye. 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 Say hello to the king. Bye bye. <laughs> A golden horn and white wool mittens. In the pail, a tiny kitten. And Dweedle's feathers soft and light. A crooked sixpence, shiny and bright. All wrapped up in thy warm yellow blanket. We're off, We're off to, to a party for old King Cole. For old King Cole, that merry old soul. How many gifts for him today? One, two, three. Oh, no. Look at poor old Humpty! Humpty Dumpty had a great ball All the king's horses and all the king's men Couldn't put Humpty together again They just left him here, broke it. They probably didn't want to be late for the party But we'll help him Even if it means we miss the party, won't we? Mm-hmm Okay Then let's get started deliverance from this grievous reef on which I have so inexpediently founded. Ah. He's glad he's not in pieces. Well, greetings, salutations, buongiorno, salute. What did he say? I think oh. he said hello. Oh. You're as good as ever now. Yes, yes, the felicitous resolution of an importunate tale. <laughs> he's glad. He already said that. Ah, this ovoid rotundity thanks you. How may I make reparation? If you mean, what can you do for us? First, you could use words that are clear and simple. We're going on our way to King Cole's party. We're late. Oh. And I think we're lost. 
But if you give us directions we can't understand, we're still lost. Ah, yes, 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 quite right. <clears throat> Clear, simple. Hmm. It's a difficult thing. But after all you've done for me, <clears throat> now, you're not lost. You're with me, and I know the, uh, how do you say it? Shortcut. Let's go. Which way? First, Let's get started. make a thumb pull. And now, prepare for some verbal prestidigitation. <laughs> Humpty. Uh, a thousand pardons. The magic word. Uh, clear. Simple. Oh, no! Uh, must have been that bump on the head. Oh, please concentrate. That's it! Bravo! What's what your head? head? Are you ready? We're ready! Holy. Jack? Some place to go, I mean, to see or something. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. <laughs> and Peter Piper picked a popper for people, Papa. Oh, drat. <laughs> oh, come in.
la 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 What shall we give him white bread and butter? <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Oh, drat! <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Friends, oh. <clears throat> darling. <clears throat> Welcome, honored guests. <clears throat> Boy, am I glad you could make it, oh, dear. <laughs> you're the king. Royal, royal. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> with your presence at this illustrious occasion as we gather to celebrate, uh, celebrate, um, uh, you. No. Yes, that's it. it's a party to celebrate you. No, dear. Uh, hmm? The party's to celebrate you. Yeah, you. I said you. Yes, no, you. You. No, 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 no. <laughs> you, no, you, me, you. <laughs> uh, dear, <clears throat> in thanks for 100 years of peace, under a king who is generous and kind, who loves dancing and music. And even if he is a little bit forgetful, he never ever forgets his people. Oh. <laughs> and now, the king will survey his bounteous gifts. His what? His presence, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, now this'll come in real handy. <laughs> kind of takes a load off you, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, no, dear. This is a silver serving platter fit for a king's table. Oh, <laughs> it's real thoughtful. <laughs> uh, come along, dear. <clears throat> oh, now this... Make a good paperweight, I'll bet. <laughs> oh! This is a ruby uh, worth a fortune, you may be sure. What do you do with it? Do with it? Do we? You don't do anything with it. It's a jewel, it's meant to be looked at. What kind of nonsense is that? Oh. <clears throat> we can't give our gifts to the king. They don't seem very special now. I want to go home. Now, now, my little friends. There are kings and kings. Oh, here's a trophy, I'll bet, from when I won the pieing contest. This maybe. is a goblet, solid gold. Oh, perhaps we should get on with the dancing. Well... The king is simply delighted with all your gifts. Aren't you, Your Majesty? I... Of course you are. They're the most beautiful things I've ever seen. What would a king want with my blanket? Well, now even a king needs to keep warm. Huh? 
Fiddler's guests, we're all going to dance now. Let's all make a circle and... Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Your lustrous, uh, resplendent, uh, uh, numinous, uh, majesty. That must be you. <laughs> no, dear. It's you. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, humpy old man, egg. <laughs> You're looking very uh, together. <laughs> yes, thank you, Your Majesty. And uh, thanks to my colleagues, uh, my compeers, my cronies, uh, my friends. <laughs> my friends. Uh, one foot up. One foot down. One foot up, 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 one foot down. One foot up. Well? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> How do you do that, anyway? Wait a minute, that's the real thing. Where's the kitten? Here's your majesty. Whose kitten is this? Yours, if you want it, Your Majesty. Mine? Yes, sir, but if you don't like it... Don't like him? Oh, I've always wanted a kitten. <laughs> but dear, you have a Bengal tiger. But he's too big to sit in my lap. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> What's this? It's a horn. Well, I can see that, dear. But the king has his own trumpeter. Oh, but I want my own trumpet. But I want to write my own name. Now, there's a good idea. Tied together with their own string so they won't get lost. <laughs> Somebody knows me pretty well. <laughs> now, Peaches, look at this. Yes, a coin. But what else? It's crooked. Exactly. <laughs> but, dear, the royal coffers are filled with coins and none of them are crooked. But that's just the point. <laughs> This is one of a kind. <laughs> this is my lucky day. <laughs> oh. Whose blanket is this? Whose? Whose? Mine? 
Here, you hang on to this. A good blanket is worth more than gold. Yes, Your Highness, but I want you to have it. I am honored more than you know. I had a blanket once myself, once upon a time. Hardest thing I ever had to let go of. <clears throat> What's your name, little fellow? I'm Jack, and these are my friends. And Mary knit the mittens all by herself from her very own lamb's wool. And Jill brought her favorite kitten. And Little Boy Blue brought you his horn. And the leader of the six little ducks sent the finest feather that he ever grew. And the crooked man sent his crooked coin. And Humpty got us here on time. And with a bit of verbal prestidigitation. Uh, with what? Uh, with uh, a magic word, Your Majesty. Oh. Well, thank you all for the greatest of gifts. <laughs> gifts that are given from the heart. They make me feel like a king. And now, <clears throat> let the dance begin! So the children sang and danced at the party of their lives, for there wouldn't be another one like it for a hundred years. After the party, did they go home? <laughs> you bet. Humpty Dumpty saw to that. And the king kept their presents? Kept them? <laughs> he would have traded everything on the table for the gifts the children gave from their hearts. <laughs> Sleepy Jack, you missed the story. It's all right. We'll read it again another night.
Oh, 